Nick from the Bassett Cup and today as you could tell by the intro or some of you probably could tell by the intro you could tell where I'm at we're out here at Rancho Seco it used to be a nuclear power plant um, lake but those have been shut down for years and years but I've been coming out here since I was a little kid fishing with my dad fishing with my uncle uh, and you know Matt Allen those guys from Tactical Bassin they I think caught their first 18 pounder out of this lake on a Huddleston again years and years ago and I haven't been out here in quite some time but I think it's a really good lake to come out and see if what works at my home ponds is working here we have the similar um, type of water clarity similar cover similar depth very very similar they're almost exactly the same same amount of weeds same amount of depth same water clarity I know that these two lakes even get stocked with the same type of forage fish fish the Sacramento blackfish they just started putting those in here the only other thing in here though is there's trout and there's crappie so these bass could be big and I know there's some big big ones in here it gets a lot of pressure though so we're gonna come out here try some of the same techniques I've been catching them on that deep spinner bait uh, maybe a jerk bait um, first gen rig we're gonna try some jaw droppers whatever we could get to bite and if I get some uh, fine and if I find some trout or crappie, I'm even gonna go for those. Of course, I'm in the big boat today, which is super nice. I got my buddy joining me here, but it is freezing, freezing cold. It was under 30 degrees this morning. So again, not an ideal time to fish. It was under 30 degrees. I'm gonna, I don't know what the water temp is. I'm gonna have to turn on my back graph, see what the water temp is out here. I almost don't want to, cause that might actually deter me from doing things I wanna do. So you know what? I'm not even going to look at it until maybe later if I don't get bit. But we're going to come out here and try our best. We're going to try our best to catch some. So, oh, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, leave a comment. We give away half our YouTube income every single month in the form of a gift card. So leave a comment, subscribe. The first of every month we do a random drawing, give away half our YouTube income. So help us out there um, and help us help you by giving away half our income there. So let's get to it. I'm gonna start out with that deep spinner bait and see if we can get any followers at all. I should be able to tell, I'm thinking, from forward facing. And they stock this lake with trout, like I said. So if we find some of those schools out here, I'm gonna go after those too. So let's get to it. Dude, they're freaking all over right here. Like, that's gotta be, it's gotta, it's gotta be crappy. Dude, I got one. Got one. Oh, nice. Dude, what is it? What is it? What is it? Come on. I, don't, don't. No. <laughs> Didn't hit it at all, dude. It's fine like a bass. See, what is this? Took long enough. Did on the jaw dropper with a tiny, that tiny little. Oh, dude, it's a bass. It's a bass. Not a bad one. It's not a skunk. It's not a skunk today. Not a skunk, dude. 29 degrees this morning. On the jaw dropper with a, a tiny little crappie bait on there. Like a one and a half inch bait. Ah, hey. I'll take it. That's funny. We threw... Dude, threw the... I can't believe that. He threw uh, underspin with a 2.8. Threw the Nico. Wouldn't touch it. And that one finally ate that up tiny little. Dude, but it wasn't even bass. Me too. I thought it wasn't bass. I thought it was going to be <laughs> crappie or trout. This is the one that no one can. All right, guys. There's a massive school of something down there. We got to figure out what they are. I need to pull out the power mate. I need to pull the power mate. Maybe they just want a Kitek with no flash. What's crazy, a second ago, dude, we didn't see any of these. Right now, there's 30 of them, dude. It's, dude, the school of them is 20 feet long, dude. 
Look how many there are, dude. The school's 20 feet oh, long. <laughs> so I mean, even if they were crappie, you'd think they'd bite this little 2.8 kitek. You know? Turned it way the fuck. Yeah, yeah. Nine. Hey, dude. They're either trout or crappie. Or just some type of... Marks don't look or that some, big. Or some type of... Dude, but they are a good size, dude. They're 35 feet down. And right now it's kind of zoomed out, the view. I just don't know why they won't bite. I just don't know why they're not biting this. Not the right color. <laughs> not the right size, color. All right, we left Seiko. I'm telling you right now, I mean, it was rough, rough. I was seeing fish everywhere on active target. Couldn't get them to bite. I mean, schools of fish, I don't know what they are. I think they're bluegill down there. I think one school is crappie for sure. Could not get them to bite anything. We caught three fish, four fish total, maybe. I'm back home. I had to leave there, come back home real quick, catch the last part of the day. We got like 30 minutes until it gets dark and try to get some fish. So let's jump in this boat. Let's go see how we do out here. But Seiko, all in all, it was really, really tough. And that's how that place could be. It could be really, really tough. We've been fishing there for 30 years. It used to be really, really good. But of course, with pressure, um, there's just a lot more people fishing. It's gotten a lot tougher, but it is good. It's a good lake. It's good in summer. It looked like they hadn't stocked it trout with trout for a while. Um, so maybe we'll go back. I'm sure I'll be back, uh, do another video out there. Maybe not this winter, but maybe in the spring. But let's get out here. I need to catch some fish. I got to come home, get some bites, and uh, fill that tug. The tug is the drug. So let's get out here and get some. Dude, the fish. Mm. Oh my goodness, it's a fish. Look at the swirl. They're coming out and missing it. What in the world? Came out and hammered it off that rock. Oh, dude, that one waked on it. Big one, too. What in the heck? Super shallow. Spinner bait. In the winter time? Super shallow. I'm gonna have to lift this one. <laughs> yes, sir. Nice one. Right in the snout. Came out from under the weeds up there and ate it. Nice one on the split blade. Whew, man. Finally. Just had to wait all day. Had to wait all day for that bite. And that fish came out. I threw right up there. And there was literally a wake coming after my swim bait. Swim bait, spinner bait. Yeah, it feels good. Jeez Louise. Took long enough. But if I'm gonna get a bite, I like to get one like that. That's pretty sweet. He must have been up there under them weeds up there. That fish might have ate a frog. <laughs> Just kidding, I doubt it'd eat a frog, but shit off. Fish was aggressive. was aggressive right out there that's crazy that's that's two in this shallow pocket i've had got my uh swim bait all messed up on there Let's see if i have any more don't know that i do i might have a i got a white one let's let's 
this water's dirty right here. You can go white. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna put on a brand new, brand new split blade, just the bigger one. You know, bigger blades, all white, dirty water, darkish conditions, sun going down. Why not? White spinner bait, half ounce. White trailer. Bigger blades. Bigger spinner bait, bigger swim bait. Bigger profile in general. See what happens. I mean, I could work it slower up in these shallows like this. That one fish is going to have me all screwed up now. Thinking there's all these big fish up here shallow. <laughs> That's what's going to happen. That one fish then screwed me up. Dude, big one up shallow. Big one. Stay pen, baby. Up shallow. Spinner bait to the winter. This is as big as the last one, but I don't even know if you guys can see it's so dark. Dang. Let's crush that spinner bait up in like a foot of water. No, I might be bigger than the last one. Let's see. Stay pen, stay pen, stay pen, stay pen. Oh, yeah. Definitely bigger than the last one. Look at that, look at that. All right. Maybe they move up. Maybe they do move up in the evening, even though it's, it's cold. But nice split blade flesh right there. That's probably a... Almost five pounder right there. Whoo! Man, it feels good. That wasn't on the compact either. That's on the full size split blade right there. I mean, just, just completely stopped that bait. I mean, I'll, I was burning it pretty fast because where that fish was at up here is like probably, and I'm not kidding you, probably a foot and a half. So I was reeling it pretty fast and just completely stopped it. Whew. That is fun right there. I, I honestly, I didn't expect spinnerbait fish at all in this lake right here. There's no grass, which is really odd, but there's no grass. And I just didn't expect it. I really didn't. I thought they were all going to be deep. I thought I was going to catch them on a jig. I just thought jig. That's all I was thinking. Another one. Another one. Oh, he just came off. Darn it. That's like our That's like our fifth bite up shallow, though. It's still it's still remarkable to me that they're up here. And you know what? It kind of proves the point that there is a evening bite and probably a morning bite, even in the winter. You know, these fish still kind of have it in their DNA to move up and feed. Another one. <laughs> move up and feed in the evening it's nuts dude and that fish right here this one ain't the biggest one but it's freak fat and dark fat and dark i don't know if you guys could even see that sun going down here 
I'm just fishing my way back to the boat ramp. Seeing if we could get a few more bites. It's crazy though. It is a fish. Oh my goodness. <laughs> they done moved up. Get in here. Woo. Spinnerbait putting in that work. I'm in that zone right now where I feel like every single cast. Oh, another one. It'd be hard to get me off this lake right here. The way these fish are eating. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Oh, okay. Okay, it's all right, bud. It's all right. I'll let you go right here real quick. Another one. Another nice one. 